when you take a look at how some of the public employees in Wisconsin have behaved over the past year, over being required to kick in a portion for their health insurance, doesn't it strike you as the same kind of behavior as somebody who's going to the DTs after getting off their booze? The same violent reactions, the same tremors, the same rolling of the eyes, the same agitation, the same discomfort. The alcoholic desperately wants a drink. The Walker recallers desperately want Walker not to be the governor. They want to go back to the old days where they get everything and put in nothing. Now, as I said, this all makes sense to me. It follows logically to me. I can prove my point simply. If Governor Walker had not addressed compensation of government employees in any way, but had somehow managed to balance the budget by doing something else, there would not be any recall. What this has been all along is a bunch of greedy crybabies who think that their fellow man should have to pay their damn bills just because we've been dumb enough to pay all their bills all along. If we had been paying all along for their food, if that was somehow part of the deal, that you got a food stipend of $200 a week and we took that away, they'd have the same, well, you have a, you, you care taking away our food. Well, everybody else is to buy their own food. I use food as a ludicrous example. I don't know why they, get free, they got free health insurance all these years. Other than because of the collective bargaining process, they were able to extract it. They got a ludicrous benefit that is not sustainable, that was bankrupting the state. And when they were told that they had to kick in a small amount of patents, they're wailing and crying about kicking in 12% for a Cadillac plan. Wailing and crying about it. Selfishness, greed. Sense of entitlement. Addiction. It's about time the rest of us say to them... Shut up with your crybabying. Be thankful you still have these wonderful jobs. Be thankful you still have these benefits, none of which were taken away from you. Be thankful you can still waddle off into the sunset at 55 years old. Be thankful that you have a defined ben pension benefit, retirement, as opposed to the rest of us who are stuck in 401ks in a stock market that hasn't moved in 15 years. rather than take this constant, incessant crybabying from them. In a way, the Walker recall is probably their last stand. It's the last tantrum they can throw. Beyond this, they have nowhere else to turn. And all this thing is has been one giant tantrum from a bunch of selfish crybabies who think that they are so special that they should get for free from their taxpayer... The kinds of things that the rest of us pay for with our own money, that is what I believe. 414-799-1130 is the phone number. The Miracle-Homes.com toll-free line is 1-800-838-9476. If they wonder why some of us have such a low opinion of them, it's because their demands are so selfish, so childish, so greedy. All about them and their desire to get everything that's so wonderful and kick in nothing. If Walker would have made them pay 1%, they would have bitched.